Hey guys, this is Confistimator, and today I'll be doing another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 9489 Endor Rebel Trooper and Imperial Trooper Battle Pack. This set is set number 9489, ages 6 to 12, has 77 pieces and retails for 13 US dollars. You get four minifigures, just like with all the other winter sets, 2012 winter sets, and it's a very nice set. It's uh, what you expect from a battle pack, and it's pretty good, so... Without further ado, um, let's get on to the minifigures. So, the first one we get is the new Endor Rebel Trooper. And we got these Rebel Commandos in the End, uh, um, Battle of Endor set. And But this guy is new. He has a brand new torso. As you can see, he's got the kind of vest on there, the tan vest. And on the back, he's also got it right there along with the kind of sand green hood overlapping it. He does come with a mini little blaster pistol that we saw in last year's battle pack and he does have the same hat as the one in the Battle of Endor. The face is new as well. I believe it, it I believe this is a brand new face, but I could be wrong. And this guy's name is Carmichael if you saw Nitro 99's review. And or it this might be Carmichael, that one might be the no name, I don't remember, but... He's the other Rebel Commando, and he has the exact same torso as the Rebel Commandos in the uh, Battle of Endor. So, as you can see, he's got the ammo strap bandolier type thing going across his shoulder, and kind of continuing on to the other side. He's got some really nice camouflage going on there. He does have the long blast rifle, which is pretty cool. And the face I believe we've seen before in some sort of Lego City set. I'm not sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. Post a comment down below if you have seen these faces anywhere else besides this set. Um, so yeah, they both have the same kind of peach hands and the same legs. So the only thing difference between um, the two Rebel Commandos is the torso and the face. So Next up is the brand new Stormtrooper. And a lot of you guys may be wondering, why is this guy new? How is he new? And the answer to that is because he has a brand new, more detailed torso. And the torso is very nice. It's got a lot more detailing, as you can see, down, especially down here towards the bottom. And also, you can see the breast plates are kind of pushed forward, I guess you can, or maybe sunken in, I'm not really sure, but it's a lot more detailed than the previous one, which I have right here. Um, here's just an example. As you can see, it's very plain on the older ones. This is a old, uh, much older Sand Trooper from, I believe, 04 or so. So, this one, this one is obviously much more detailed and um, very nice. So, it's a good thing that they gave you the new Stormtroopers in the battle pack so you can um, rebuild an army of this if you want the more accurate ones. The back is brand new as well. As you can see, there is some, I believe this is a thermal detonator right here on the back. The helmet is the same as the new Stormtroopers, the newer ones, I mean. And the face underneath is the same as the all the Imperial Troopers that we get in the winter line. And very nice. I really like this face. Like I said in my Droid Escape review, it is very reminiscent of Jango Fett's, which is very cool. Um, the next minifigure and the final one is the Scout Trooper. And this guy is very, very cool. It is so great to have an army of these guys because they are the exact same since 1999. They haven't changed a single bit. The torso has always been the same. It works very nicely. And of course the helmet is perfect. They don't need to change anything about that. However, the only thing they may want to change in the future is to give them back printing. But that isn't a really big deal. I actually prefer them not to since they've already got all of them out without back printing so it would make more sense. He does come with the smaller bastard pistol just like the other Rebel Trooper. He does have a black head. However, if you turn it around, he has the same Imperial Trooper face with the 5 o'clock shadow on it. And so, you need to turn it around or else if you keep it like that and then try to put the helmet on. It just looks terrible, right? So, you need to turn that around. And there you go. So, I really like the Scout Troopers. They're very nice minifigures. 
Um, I believe this is my fifth one so far, so they're really, really cool. Next song we'll get to is the speeder bike. And yet again, this is a brand new version. They changed a couple things on this one when compared to the one that we get in the Ewok Attack, the Somerset, which is right here. So, let me give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, first of all, this kind of connector piece right here, this is black on the previous version and dark gray on the newer one. These rods are the exact same. So is this piece right there. However, if you look at it from a profile view, you can see that this piece right here is no longer present. It is instead replaced by this um, circular piece right there. And it's also got that platform piece so that it can rest nicely on a base plate. As you can see, it, it kind of provides more stability. And it just overall looks a lot nicer than the old one. And as we're going back here, the foot pedal's still the same. Actually, it's on the other side on the old one, but aerial view, as you can see, we got the three, um, three by two piece right there. Whereas here we just have the dark gray grill and the uh, singular stud right there piece. On the back, we have a light gray stud on the old one, where the backpack just clips onto a lighter gray piece, and then this one doesn't have that stud. It kind of just clips onto the actual speeder bike. Let me show you that. So as you can see, it just clips onto that stud, and there you go. So this one is overall better, but I really don't want to see them make another one because this is, in my opinion, the definitive version, and they really don't need to make another one because it would be a kind of a waste of time. So that is the main reason why you should buy that set, just because of the minifigures, because these two build a great army, so do these two, and the uh, speeder bike. So on now to the tree thingy. I don't know what you would call this. this. is some sort of fort type thing. It does have the rotisserie cannon thingy mabobber. Now, Nitro 99 came with a great name for it. I forgot, but it's very cool. You gotta have a flick fire missile and a battle pack. That's the law. It works like a charm. Um, nice, Some nice dark green pieces down here at the bottom. And we have a type of gun rack here where you could put the blasters on. And we have a deformed tree like thingy with the uh, green foliage on the top as well as right here. We do have a piece right here that is commonly used in Lego City which is this um, light green flower piece type thing. And yeah, so it's basically just a little base type um, forced thing. Uh, so you basically put the rebels on there like that so he can man the cannon and then fire away. It does rest on a swivel joint so it can move 360 degrees so that's very nice. Um, so yeah that's about it for the set itself. On to the manual. The manual self-explanatory the same size as the Elite Clone Battle Pack. Really straightforward, nothing really exciting. Of course, you do have your box features, and then you have your comic. So speeder bikes coming in, they're on their tree platform. They see them, and now they're gonna fire the missile. The missile's firing, and then it hits them and explodes. It goes flying away. We have an advert for the rest of the sets. We got the X-wing, Tie Fighter, Geo Cannon, Droid Escape, and Clone Battle Pack. I do have these three sets, and I have reviewed them. So you can check those out. And then Lego Club and Win. So there's the manual. And now onto the box. The box is a very nice indoor battle scene. Here's the info like I mentioned before. Nine four, set number 9489. It has Darth Maul on the top right hand logo. And the indoor Rebel Trooper is brand new. It's the newer version. And then the back has the features. We have the swiveling can and the gun rack. And it shows that the flick fire missile can fire the speeder bike. Some other views of the speeder bike and inside. So that's about it for the set. So please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.
so I'll see you guys later bye